everybody welcome back to my channel and to another video and in this one I'm going to be going through a technique for colored pencils that I think will really help you to improve your colored pencil drawings and it is a technique that will really help to make your drawings look more realistic and give them more of a painting look to them rather than them looking like a grainy pencil sketch so let's get into the technique and this technique is going to involve using solvent and a paintbrush. You can use any type of solvent for this technique, something like paint thinner or Gamsol. I use the Zestip pencil blend, but you can use any solvent that you want or even something that you probably have around the house like nail polish remover. You also need some brushes for this. I like to use the Filbert shaped brushes because they are stronger and they are really sort of sturdy and they're great for blending. And basically what you do is you put a bit of that solvent onto your brush and this really breaks down the pigment in the colored pencils. And as you can see, it gets rid of all of the graininess that you usually see with colored pencil drawings. And it really helps to just give a really nice smooth layer and it makes the colors more saturated. But before we get into this technique, there are a couple of mistakes that I want to go through for reasons why you might not be getting the right results. Firstly, it could be because you're not putting enough pigment down on the paper before you go in and blend. If you don't have enough color pencil down on the paper first, then when you go to blend it with the solvent, there simply won't be enough of the pigment for the solvent to fuse and blend together and your drawing will still look grainy and you won't get that smooth saturated look. So on the top, you can see that I've got the right amount of pigment. I have built up enough, enough layers of color pencils so that when I go in with the solvent, you get that really nice, smooth, saturated look. But with the bottom swatch that I did, I didn't add enough layering, which means that I'm still going to have that grainy look and it's not going to do much really. It's still gonna look very similar. So if you are having this problem, it's probably because you are not building up enough layers with your colored pencils before you blend with the solvent. As you can see, the top swatch looks a lot better than the bottom one. So moving on to the next mistake, and this is if you are having a solvent sort of stain around your drawings. And this could be because you are using too much solvent. So if you feel like you are getting a stain and you can see where the solvent is bleeding out on your paper, then it probably means that you're using too much solvent. So at the moment, I'm just building up the layers of colored pencil, making sure that I've got enough pigment down before I go in and blend with the solvent so that we're not doing the first mistake. I've done these two swatches exactly the same, but with the first one, I'm going to be going in and making sure that I'm not using too much solvent on my cotton bud and the way that I prevent that is by just dabbing off my cotton swab onto a bit of tissue to get rid of that excess solvent. And as you can see, it nicely blends everything out without giving you that oily, greasy stain around your drawing. So with the second swatch, I am not going to blot off my cotton bud. I'm just going to dip it in that solvent and not remove any of the excess. And this basically means there's way too much solvent on my cotton bud and a brush can absorb even more. So it just blends it out really quickly, but you'll start to see that a stain's forming around the edges of this swatch. And that doesn't give you a really nice finished look to your drawing. So make sure that you're not adding too much solvent. Otherwise you will get this staining. You really don't need a lot of solvent when you do this technique. So next I'm going to go through the steps of how I use this technique to create a full drawing. I'm going to be showing you how I created this monkey drawing in color pencil using the solvent technique. And I pretty much go about any of my drawing using this technique in the exact same way using three main steps. So the first main step that I'm doing now is just building up the base layer of shading. And so this is getting in your first layer, all of the foundation colors. I'm not focusing on details in this step. I'm just blocking in all of the different colors. And I like to start off by going in with my black and I block in the darkest colors and then I fill in all of the other colors. And the reason I like to use the black first is because I find that it helps me to judge all of my other values. So like I said, you wanna make sure that you're focusing on building up enough pigment on each area. 
even areas that are quite light like this section you still want to make sure that you build up enough of the color pencil so if it is a really light area then you could go in and layer some white over the top of the other colors just to make sure that there is enough pigment down so that when you blend it with the solvent it actually gives you that smooth result otherwise you will still have the grainy look of your pencil sketch so I'm just building up all of these different colors and like I said, it's not a big deal if you don't get in all of the detail at the moment. Once you've built up your base layer of shading, it's time to go in and blend this out with your solvent using your paintbrush. But before we get into that, if you want to follow along with this drawing in real time, then the tutorial for this is available over on my Patreon, as well as over 300 other real time tutorials for lots of different mediums. For a small amount per month, you'll get instant access to all of my tutorials on there, as well as the references, sketch outlines and materials list that you need to follow along. But if a monthly membership isn't right for you, then over on my website, I've got lots of individual courses that you can use to learn the specific medium or subject matter that you want to master. I recommend checking out my Realistic Animals in Coloured Pencil course, which is packed with hours of real-time tutorials to teach you all of the techniques that you need to know to draw realistic animals using both the burnishing method and solvent. I've got lots of other colored pencil courses on there as well to check out and courses for watercolor and charcoal. So there'll be definitely something on there to suit your needs. If you're interested in my courses, I'm currently offering 15% off if you use the code SAY15 at checkout. A link to my Patreon and my website will be in the description below. Okay, so now let's move on to step two of this drawing technique, which is actually blending out this base layer of color pencil using solvent. So I dip my brush firstly into my bottle of solvent and then I make sure to dab off all of that excess solvent onto some tissue before I go in and start to blend out my color pencil. Now you will want to start off by blending out the lighter areas and then work into the darker sections so that you don't accidentally muddy up your colors and blend any black, for example, into the pink fleshy area. You don't wanna make the colors all muddy, so try and do the lighter areas first. Also, you can use multiple different brushes. So for example, if you're blending out the eyes, you could switch to a smaller brush to make that a bit easier. And then it's easier to control where the solvent's going so that you don't get a messy look. When I'm blending out a really dark area and then I wanna move over to a lighter area, I make sure that I just blot off any of that excess black color pencil that's got onto my brush and I clean it using my solvent before I move on to a lighter area. Again, just to avoid making the colors all muddy. And you can see that this really turns the drawing into more of a painting and it makes the colors really saturated. It gets rid of all of that graininess. And because the solvent is actually sort of breaking down that color pencil and fusing it all together, it removes that really waxy, shiny layer, which is hard to add more layers on top of. And it just makes for a great layer to build up more and more details on top of. So for example, here you can see that I'm able to use this white pencil and go straight over the top of these darker colors and the white pencil shows up really well, even on top of black colored pencil, which if you were using the burnishing method where you're, you're just using the pressure of the colored pencil to blend instead of solvent, you would not be able to do this. You won't be able to layer the white pencil over darker colors so easily. And that's why this is a really great technique for drawing animals especially because of the fact that you are able to layer and get a really nice texture it's great for drawing fur because you can build up so many details and I like to start off when I'm doing the details which is the third and final step of this I like to start off by using the white to get in all of the highlights and then I use the black to go in and add in all of the shadows and the darker details and I mainly just use those two colors to brighten up areas and add in some darker shadows but then I do go in with some of the other colors to make areas more saturated or to add in some more fur detail. But 90% of what I do is just with the white and the black for this final sort of layer. And you can see how this really just finishes it off and adds more detail to the piece. 
and because our first layer is nice and smooth we can't see any graininess underneath and it gives such a polished final look to our drawing. So that is the technique that I wanted to go through in today's video. I hope you learned something new and enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new around here and even tick that bell icon so you do get notified on my future videos. But that is it from me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everybody.